Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members of the Judicial Committee. I'm happy to be here tonight to introduce to you House Bill 5158. I've introduced this a number of times, this legislation. Um, I have been asked to put this in, and when you read it, um, this bill uh, prohibits abortion solely for the means of sex selection. So it's something that you don't even really think happens today. Uh, my statistics uh, come from the uh, U.S. Census Bureau, and my, my, uh, my study is based on uh, the years 2000, 2000 to 2014. Um, last year, which would be the year that this, uh, that this was taken, um, was in 2013, so there was 1,330,000 sex selective abortions. For every 200 girls born, one is refused the chance to see the light of day just because she's a female. In India, for 100 girls who are born alive, seven are aborted just because they are girls. In China, for every 100 girls that are born, nine are aborted just because they are girls. Um, so however, this is statistics from around the world. Over the last 14 years, there has been an average of 4,575 abortions performed daily. This comes to about one abortion motivated by gender every 18 seconds. I know Mr. Bracey will have maybe some uh, more updated information, but it just doesn't seem like something like this should even take place. Any questions for me, Mr. Chairman? I'm glad to take Thank you, Representative Muller. I believe Second Vice Chair Matthews has a question. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. How, um, my question to you is how are you, is anybody going to find out that that was the purpose of the abortion? Are you expecting the, uh, the woman to come forward and say I had an abortion because I wanted to choose the sex? I mean, what about yes, the in these, care privacy? In these countries, it, it may be that way because it's broken down country by country to show how many uh, girls, how many boys. But in this show. country, we have HIPAA laws. Right. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Mr. Bracey might be able to. 